We don't believe there's such a thing as a non-reader. They just haven't found the right book yet. The book that grabs them, that speaks to them, that makes them feel like it was written for them. The books that made me a reader for life won't necessarily be the books that speak to our children of today. And they won't necessarily be the books that are able to compete with video games, with mobile phones, with TikTok. So here at Love Reading for Kids, we are here to support you. Um, our job is one of curation. It's about helping them find their next favourite book or their first favourite book and their next favourite author or their next favourite series. A book for every mood, for every age, for every interest and for every reading level. Whether you're five or a big kid at 50, reading children's books is utter joy. So part of our role is to give you and the children in your life the tools, the information and a steady stream of brilliant book recommendations. It will be fiction and non-fiction, picture books, middle grade books, young adult reads, dyslexia friendly books and books that in particular are great for children who do not see themselves as readers. Inspiring a love of books is one of the best ways to prepare children for a lifetime of learning. And we really want to help create readers for life. So we've got 12 tips on helping to encourage reading for pleasure. Number one, encourage children to join their local library, encourage them to use their school library. It's a free, regular source of wonderful books and our librarians are to be treasured. Number two, surround them with reading material. Make it easy for the children in our lives to pick up a book. Number three, enjoy the pictures. Before children learn to read, encourage them to read the pictures and books. Ask simple questions about what they see in front of them why they selected the book, what they liked about the book. It really helps develop the love, a love of the wonder of books that will serve them well later in life. Number four, read to them. It's never too early to start reading to your child. It's never too late. Um, once they can read independently, don't assume the job is done. Um, it is a very relaxing, beautiful thing to be read to. So keep reading together. Number five, make reading a part of the daily routine, whether it's story time, whether you start the day, whether you end the day together, read. And don't worry about reading the same book again and again. It's perfectly normal. That repetition helps build confidence, um, and we promise they will move on to something else eventually. Number six, find the right reading nook. Read in a place that's comfortable, that's enjoyable, that enables them to relax and fall into that book. Number seven, be a model reader. Are you reading? I think Ensuring that children see you reading for pleasure is a really critical part of it. It's not a chore. It's whether it's a book, it's a magazine, it's a newspaper, it's still about relaxing and enjoying reading. Are you reading children's books? Are you sharing your favourites? Are you reading the same book as them? So you're able to discuss and share that book and your thoughts on that book. Number eight. Let them choose the books that appeal to them. None of us like being told what to do most of the time. And reading is no different. So support the children in selecting books that interest them, that speak to them. Number nine, enjoy books in a variety of formats. We no longer need to rely on a physical copy of a book. Print will always be the format that's closest to my heart. Um, there's nothing better than the feel of a, of a great book, but audio is a great way of making books accessible. Ebooks 
are a convenient way of um, children being able to read on devices. Let them choose the format that fits their mood or their preference can be really adapted to the individual's specific needs. Number 10, travel with a book. Encourage children to travel with a book. Show them how easy it is to while away boring traveling time by diving into another world. Goes a long way. Number 11, support children through that tween dip. It is proven that children's reading dips by the time they get to secondary school. So really try and keep them engaged and interested in reading. Once they learn to read confidently and independently, make sure that you're trying to help them and support them in finding books that are really interesting to them. You know, quality text, we have recommended reading lists for every year group, for every age range, on our Love Reading for Schools platform. And we update them annually to ensure that we have quality texts that are perfectly pitched for the age range. Um, stunning information texts, poetry, inspirational books. So try and support them through that tween dip and keep them engaged with some great, great reading material. And finally, number 12, don't forget the young adults. Young adult fiction it is incredible. There are some brilliant, brilliant books being published for young adults that will take them from 13 plus to 18. Well, 18 for everyone. YA books are for everyone. It is a really vibrant sector of publishing with some incredible, incredible books and incredible authors. There are YA sections on love reading for kids and love reading. And they really do tend to bridge the gap between children's fiction and books for adults. And please check them out. So whether you are a school librarian, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a parent, a carer, remember that great things happen when we read. And reading for pleasure is for everyone. <laughs>